There seem to be a number of atheists out there who will claim that someone isn't really a Christian unless they follow all of the Bible. Or someone isn't really a Muslim unless they follow all of the Quran. Here's the thing. What makes so many Christians reasonable people is the fact that they don't follow all of the Bible. The fact that they do cherry-pick so many little things from the Bible. Now, when it comes to stereotypical Republicans who are Christian, they choose to cherry-pick more sections of the Bible. They still leave a hell of a lot of stuff out, but they choose to cherry-pick some things and include a lot of the negative dogma that's in the Bible. But the less things that they include in their cherry-picking, usually the more reasonable they are. Usually the less judgmental they are. Usually the less bigoted they are. So before some of you are trying to make this argument that, well, they're not really uh, Christians if they're not following all of the Bible, that's simply not true. Now, when you talk to the people who have those beliefs, they usually will try to claim that they're not cherry-picking. And that's where the problem comes into place. But the reality is they are cherry-picking. And that's why they're reasonable people, because they are cherry-picking. We should be thankful that they're cherry-picking. And really, no matter how much we hope, no matter how much we talk about things, we're not going to get rid of Abrahamic religions. The best we can hope for is that we can get Abrahamic religious people to use less of the Bible when they're cherry-picking the Bible. There may be some little stragglers once in a while that will get out of religion, but we can't expect that to be the big goal, to get all religious people out of that sort of belief. For instance, if someone was to just believe in the things that Jesus supposedly said, the things that are written in the Bible, in the New Testament, just the things that Jesus said, minus one or two passages in the Bible, they could be a really, really decent individual who has a conscience, who thinks about their conscience, who uses their empathy, who thinks about how their actions affect other people. This is the case. This is what some Christians, they're rare, but this is what some Christians do. They want to be Christ-like. Now, for you to go after the people that believe that way, that's kind of lame. The only people we should really be concerned with are the ones that are trying to put religious dogma into law. Those are the people we should be concerned with. I mean, really, everyone else, who fucking cares? As long as they're not hurting anybody, who cares? I mean, that's the same mindset that we tell the religious people when they're being bigoted against gay people, against what women want to do with their lives, 
against people for not living a traditional lifestyle. That's what the same sort of message we tell them. So really the same should apply to when we are talking about religious people. If they truly are not trying to stop anyone from living their lives how they want, if they're not judging everybody, if they're not telling people they're going to go to hell, if they're genuinely nice, nice people who use their empathy, who have a conscience, you know, live and let live. That's all I've got to say.